All right, my boys, YT Dan, back at it again with another video. Last night, I was telling you guys about the power of the Lunar Light and how we can use this card to clap the meta. This targeting meta really stands no chance against this deck, and I have been getting in there with these Bigfoot fetish furry beasts. So I'm gonna need you guys to get on in here and enjoy this gameplay. YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by These Dank Duelists. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. I'm having trouble finding these metagame fools, but I haven't run into a lot of bullshit that is not running. Okay, I was just about to say I was running to all these decks that's not running back row. So I took out my Cosmic Cyclone. Look what asshole comes up as soon as I do that. Whatever. That's irritating as fuck, to say the least. To say the fucking least. Irritating as hell. Alright, Yellow Martin. Give me the Polly. And. Uh, yeah, I can put it back. Why not? Put it back. That way. You gotta work hard. Gotta work hard to get my life points. Merlin? Okay, never mind. This isn't, uh. <laughs> it's not Cyber Dragon. So, what I just said about Cosmic Cyclone, I take it back. I don't even care. Because this is the same kind of. This is the same kind of meta deck, same kind of principle, because. It targets a lot too, so because this deck targets a lot, we'll be able to get over easily with um, Lunar Light Foot Dancer. <laughs> with, with Lunar Light Foot Fetish. Mm hmm. Even with his sexy Merlin combo, we'll still be able to get over. We're going to be able to make that, that Lunar Light Foot Fetish real big. <laughs> it's gonna be real big. Alright, here he goes. It's like, I hope I get my trap card. Alright. So you got Gallatin, sent the trap to the grave, and then send Destiny to the grave. Uh, all right, that don't battle and boxer veil. Is that 22 and then they'll have uh, 32 plus 5, 5. Uh, okay, yeah, that wouldn't be enough. Um, gonna summon Emerald Bird's effect. Let's see what he let's see what he has. Yellow. Ooh. Yellow Martin. Gonna go get another one of those fusion spells. Alright, so now that I know he can't target, I've pretty much got the full advantage. I'm gonna go for the ultimate. Here we go. I'm gonna put it back. Yeah, we're gonna fuse. Yep. And fusion time. Martin. Two. Uh, three. Thirty-eight, and then Emerald Bird, uh, special summon something back. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Emerald Bird, bring back a banished card. See what he's got for this. Uh, 
All right. So we're gonna start going pound town on some of his monsters. Uh, I'm gonna smack this Madrot. Well, that's dumb. Guess he thought he could target Sable Dancer, but he could not. Merlin can't save you, bruh. Merlin ain't gonna be able to save you. And the super equips that you equip from, from your monster's effect is not gonna be Guinevere. It's not gonna be Guinevere, so it's, it's clap time. Most definitely. Oh, he's got Noble Arms of Destiny. Never mind. It's not quite clap time. <laughs> It's clap beginnings. <laughs> the beginnings of clap. I'll continue my assault. Destiny dog. All right, it's fine. Now he could equip and go to 42. Uh, well, actually, no. Could he not do that? I don't think he, I think he already had the, uh, no, he can't do that. You only have one of those on the field, so he can't go to 42. So we'll see what he does. We do got two veils in our hand, and then we got a Crimson Fox play. Um, so we should be fine. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can't be targeted, my boy. So... He's not gonna do anything for you. So what's up? Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot this is tier two, so I guess technically this is a meta deck. I forgot I forgot this deck is tier two. Alright, Polly Wally Morization. Alright. So I'm gonna summon the Crimson Fox. I'm gonna activate Yellow Martin. And send the Crimson Fox back to the hand. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh cool. Um so let's go ahead and hit. Um, it's oh, I can send stuff from the extra deck too because I'm doing a lunar life fusion. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do the lunar life fusion. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring out the cat dancer. We're gonna send the crimson material, and then we're gonna send the uh, yellow martin. His cat dance, crimson fox. Show as dead. All right, and now it's uh, time to go to uh, Pound Town. Yeah, it's Pound Town time. So four thousand into this beast, and then uh, twenty-four into this beast. Destiny dog. That's fine. All right. So now we got his life points down. Feeling good about that, and we can definitely get rid of this guy. So I'm not worried about that, and he can't target any of our boys. So, I'm not too worried about that either. Mm -hmm. So, what did he just use? He used his effect. So, I'm going to go ahead and negate that, sir. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Both get back a little bit of life points. Now you can't come over here and beat me up because you already know what's up. He's gonna have to risk the biscuit, as they say. Okay, I'm gonna drop. Mm-hmm. Noble arms. All right. But then that's just Mr. GG at this point. Because if he puts, yeah, that's just GG. That's just GG. Cause he's not gonna be able to kill this by battle and he can kill this with a card effect but we got crimson fox in the hand to use uh cat dancer's effect so 
this victory is short lived. Plus, we can boost our monster too. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we can even do this too. This is also fun. Get some life back, protect ourselves. All right, so we're just about to get obnoxious at this point. All right, so we're gonna draw. I'm gonna summon. I'm gonna use my effects. I'm gonna go ahead and get my double assault. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and get my big boost. <laughs> Take that. Yes. All right, my boys, all I got to say about this deck is me wow. <laughs> it's actually what's really funny about this deck is I have not played Lunar Lights at all. It's been one of those decks that as you're playing through Duel Links, you see it a lot and you really think that it's irritating to play against. So it's just something that you just do not touch. Like for example, I had so much disdain and hate for this deck that I honestly thought for this whole time that Luna Light Yellow Martin had more than one tail, but that's actually a tail in the moon. I have never looked at this card at all. I just will see it and be disgusted that I'm even looking at these foot fetish furry beasts. Now, what I think is pretty insane about this deck, it's pretty much just a gotcha type deck. So you're using your Boxer Veils and your Karibos to bait out your opponent's attack so they put stuff in attack mode so that you can cut their attack with the Crimson Fox and try to attack them for game. Now what's insane about that is Crimson Fox was put to two because using Crimson Fox and Kite Roy in Lunar Light was just way too good. So they went ahead and put Battle and Boxer Veil and that literally defeated the purpose. Since I can use Battle and Boxer Veil, I can go around that whole not being able to use um, Kite Roid with uh, my Lunar Light deck. And um, I'm using just one polymerization. I've seen a lot of different builds of this deck and a lot of people like to use two polymerizations. And at first I was using just the Lunar Light spells, uh, the polymerization, not, not a polymerization, I was using Cosmic Cyclone at like two and had Karibo with three Veil. But honestly, um, Cosmic Cyclone does not need to be in this deck. Um, because you do have Lunar Light White Rabbit, but a lot of times I was expecting the White Rabbit to be disrupted and it was not because for some reason people are like, just a lot of people are playing Wall of D. Like everybody's just playing Battle Traps all of a sudden. I guess they're saying like, you know, if I can't keep my monsters and you're gonna antagonize me with Karma Cuts, Belista Squads and anything else that targets, I guess I'm gonna run Wall of D. So since that's the case, you know, you can just use Lunar Light White Rabbit, which works just fine. It'll just bounce all the cards back for one turn. Pretty much a Hey True Nade and a monster. And uh, with that, you can attack for game. Now, I did add a couple pieces of tech to this deck, which is Diamond Dire Wolf. You know, when I look at other people's builds, you do see Diamond Dire Wolf in some builds. And there are older builds, of course, that wouldn't have Diamond Dire Wolf. But what's the interesting thing is about Diamond Dire Wolf is that his ability to destroy a card and along with himself uh, works very well with this Luna Light trap card called Luna Light Reincarnation Dance. And if you, for some reason, get your veil off and then all you have is a normal summon, you can normal summon, bring in the Diamond Dire Wolf, use his effect, pop something, and then use Lunar Light Reincarnation Dance to get the two cards to begin your combo. Now, don't get me wrong, that's a great little combo. It's a spicy little move, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's worth running in the main deck, which is why it's not in here. But I just thought you should know about it. Now, a lot of people also run in this deck Power of the Guardians, and another tech that I had in this deck was Necro Fusion. So Necro Fusion lets you fuse in the graveyard, and basically you use it in your opponent's turn to bring out a monster so that you can win on your turn. Um, and I pretty much used it a lot to summon uh, Saber, uh, Saber Foot Dancer, but um, because of that, I kind of bricked on it sometimes. So I just basically just took it out for a polymerization. And then uh, Power of the Guardian is another really good card that people use because 
because this monster cannot be destroyed by battle um and if this card here uh basically says that it can't be targeted if you add the effect of not being able to be destroyed that makes it a little busted and of course power of the guardian with uh lunar light cat dancer can be devastating especially if it's attacking into a field of three monsters so i would say in all the decks that you would say power of the guardian do not play it i would say it should be played in this deck but the question is what do you take out you don't want to take out your Karibos because those are vital for something like a six samurai deck that can go beyond 4,000 in attack for game. Um, you don't want to uh, use it uh, in place of Veil because Veil is just good for what it is. And it's also a level four. It can help you go into Diamond Deadhead. And uh, basically, um, that's 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 just it. That's, like, that's, that's just the longs and shorts of the game. Your win condition is either going to be summoning this at 4,000 plus or summoning this at 2,400 or wherever it's at and basically attacking into a monster that you made zero with Crimson Fox. It's very simple. But um, enjoy the rest of the gameplay, my boys. I'm going to be getting out of here. I apologize for not coming up on the stream uh, yesterday straight up um, after all that snow shoveling, which I probably didn't mention. Uh, all that's Well, yeah, if you saw my story, you probably saw it, but all that snow shoveling yesterday snow was literally up to basically my waist and after it got packed on the curve by moving plow trucks it was basically stacked up to my chest standing up and i'm pretty tall so it spent a lot of time getting a shovel going through somebody came through with that dank uh snow blower and helped your boy out but uh after that and baby and all that other stuff i was like i'm gonna take a quick nap and after i take this nap i'm gonna stream and basically
I mean, part of the appeal of playing Lunar Light is that surprise this is Lunar Lights. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't think we necessarily have to do that. But we can't set ourselves up, though. Because real talk, I mean, there's, yes. All right. I was about to say, we don't have any protection. I need to get into the deck, and we end up getting something. So that's good. Um, I mean, I could just go straight non-target mode right now. I kind of don't want to unleash that if I don't have to. I'm just going to pass. Because maybe he'll just try to go in because he sees what I have. Like, he sees the board I set up. But it could be just fucking Magician Girls or something stupid like that. So, who knows? And since I haven't been facing any, like, meta decks, it's been all maniacs and rogues. You know? Who knows what this is? Might not even have an OTK. No! <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what this is? Might not even have an OTK. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I guess I see we gotta see who gonna bust first pretty much. Like who's gonna be the guy to just like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm going in. Like that's I guess that's what we're waiting on. Instantly. <laughs> but I confuse for my extra deck now. And I think I should be the one to go in. So I think I'm gonna go with the non target strategy and then I'm gonna summon Diamond Dead Head and pop this monster. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna bring out the uh, Lunar Light Saber Foot Dancer. We're gonna banish the one, ooh, one from the deck, two and three. Yeah, one, uh, two and three. All right, Big Feet Dancer, 4,000 of those things. Um, Yellow Martin, yes. Uh, Emerald Bird, yes. And um, we're gonna bring back the Yellow Martin. And then Crimson Fox, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not Crimson Fox it? All right. Now here comes the XC Shokun. And then let's go ahead and pop this Diamond Deadhead and your monster. And now we have 44 of those things. And uh, with that, it should be game. So let's let's attack for game. Game time. Game time. Wall of D. Ah, you scammer. Wall of D. Ah, oh, you fuckhead. <laughs> Wall of D. <laughs> ah, you bastard. <laughs> Wall of D. Come on, man. He's like, now I'm going to try it, dog. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Cat Dancer. Uh. Hmm. So I guess, yeah, 
dummy. <laughs> you, what you do it. You're you're playing Luna Lights. <laughs> that's, that's good enough. <laughs> fuck it. Can't find Desperado to save my life. Nah, I fucking did. <laughs> you're playing Luna Light. Go ahead, say it. <laughs> oh God. All right. So just taking a quick look look at this guy's Luna Light deck, comparing it to mine, right? So first off, he made a mistake. He doesn't have two diamond dead heads. All right, well, see, that was his first mistake. No diamond dead heads. But he is playing Power of the Guardians, Wall of D, and Karma Cut, and also Luna Light Reincarnation Dance. Now, don't get me wrong. Reincarnation Dance is really good, especially if you use it with diamond dead head. But if you ain't got diamond dead head, then why you got this card in your deck? You know, so whatever. So sorry, you had to take the L, my boy. I played better than you, and I had uh, all the Luna like good stuff. So that's gonna be Ripperino Bean Burrito. All right, boys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to use the links in the description, my boy, to support me directly. You can become a channel member or use the Amazon link to make your holiday purchases. I get a small commission every time you do it, and it really helps out the channel and my content creation process. So thank you guys so much, and I appreciate y'all for watching, and as always, keep it dank.